Hey guys, PJD here. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, today is going to be another What's New This Week video. I am going to, I believe, insert this on a day in between all of those other videos that I filmed on the same day, just so you don't see the same black sweater every video. I don't know why that mattered to me, but somehow it did. So you're going to see a green, and then it'll flip back to um, probably in the next couple days, I'll post some of the other videos that I filmed all on that same day. And I'll probably start doing that, just knocking out a bunch of videos all in one day, just because I have the filming time in that day. And then I'll be able to give you content regularly. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, today, oh, and let me also say, I'm sorry, because there was a video that I filmed maybe three years ago, and I just recently realized it was set to private for some odd reason. I don't know why. And I made it public and not thinking it through that that would now place it in your feeds and you would see that. But I did put in the title that it's an old video. So just letting you know, it's the one about um, Aveda's Dry Remedy uh, Hair Conditioner. I think I was comparing it to Giovanni or something. I don't know. But anyway, it was an old video. So moving on today, I'm going to show you a couple of things that I picked up. The majority of them are from Hot Look. Um, I guess I'll do kind of a mini review of one thing, but anyway, we'll get to that. So the main thing that I was interested in when I saw this line was because I, I saw so many great reviews um, from about Mario Badesso. So I decided to try that skincare line, some of the items. This is an AHA, and I got this all from um, Hot Look just to say, because they give you discounted prices. <laughs> so this is a, a botanical body soap. I haven't tried it yet, still has the tape on it, so I'll do that supposed to be good for your skin who knows this right here is the kiwi face scrub and i had a feeling when i purchased this that it would be much like the mario badescu strawberry facial scrub which i showed you in what's new this video i don't know over the summer or something um okay let me show you what it looks like because it's really good this one actually smells um, even better than the strawberry one though. I, I like the scent, but this is what it looks like. So it has little kiwi grains, but the majority of the product, as you can see, it's sliding out right there. Um, the majority of the product is really creamy. I'm just gonna take a little bit right here and I'll put it on my hand so you'll see. So it almost feels like I'm putting lotion almost on my it, it feels like lotion it feels like lotion and then you get a few maybe you can see them of the kiwi grains there and that is what's supposed to exfoliate your skin but technically i'm sure if i were to keep rubbing this may even just rub right on it it really does feel like uh lotion so anyway so that's it so does it exfoliate my skin i mean as much as kiwi grains seeds can exfoliate i was trying to show you the seeds are as much as the kiwi seeds can exfoliate I, I guess they are but it feels really gentle um on my skin and when i wash it off it doesn't feel like residue is left behind so the same goes for the kiwi as does with the strawberry one it just it washes off and it it feels fine it's just not if you're looking for one of those really grainy scrubs this is definitely not it um for you but um it's a nice, it's fine. I wouldn't go out of my way to purchase it again, but it was cool. Uh, and it lasts a long time. Well, I guess because I don't turn to it as often. So it still feels like even my strawberry one, I don't even think I've done half the jar. But again, I'm not using it weekly. Um, I tend to turn to some other scrubs, I've noticed. But it, in all honesty, it feels it feels pretty good. Creamy, nice. It's a gentle exfoliant. So if you're into gentle exfoliant, you'll probably like that one. Nice refreshing little scent with it. It doesn't smell like kiwi, but it smells fruity. Okay, the other thing I got from Mario Badescu is the Protein Night Caviar Cream. Or no, I'm lying. It's just Protein Night Cream. All right, so Protein Night Cream. This is um, thick. Uh, it may not look so thick, but uh, I'll show you when I, it's just a little simple white cream. And all of these, of course, because it's through Hot Look, it's at a reduced price. Let me just show you over here. It's a it's a heavy kind of cream, kind of fit. And can you see right there how it like gave me that little shine? I almost feel like when I put it on my face at night, it feels a little or it looks a little greasy, but you know, I sleep in it, wash it off the next day. It's fine. It's okay, I can't say that. And again. I just got this recently, so I haven't been 
using it long so this is not a review i'm just saying based on what i've seen so far i would not be like knocking people down to get in line to buy this again it's okay it's a cream it's a thick one it's fine nothing negative just just saying this is silver powder from mary Vadescu. did i open this one to see what it looks like i don't think i did i didn't so we'll look for the first time they all come sealed like this by the way right? a little nice safety seal um okay this silver powder is supposed to oh it really yeah look at that maybe you can or cannot see but it's just um powder <laughs> just powder and what you're supposed to do is take a damp cloth or not cloth but like a cotton ball and wet it just a bit and put some of it in the silver powder and put it on like a blackhead that you may have and it's supposed to help clear that all up i'm just interested to see how that's going to work but um, yeah, so that's the silver powder. Mm -hmm. Haven't used that yet at all. The other thing that I got is the Caviar Night Cream. Another thick one. This one almost felt Vaseline-like. <laughs> let me show you that. It's another thick cream. Uh, let me... Oh, maybe you can even tell behind how I'm trying to like pick that up. Not really. You can't tell, maybe not. But um, let me go here. Uh, that probably did nothing for you, but it's, yeah, it's... It feels really, it makes it feel smooth and nice. But um, when I put it on my face, and maybe I just put on too much, I'll give it another go. Um, but yeah, it felt greasy. But the next day when I washed everything off, my skin did feel soft. So maybe, hmm, maybe it'll be a nice softening agent. And this is, again, the Caviar Night Cream from Mario Badescu. So that's that. I then got, now this. If I'm happy about anything from Mario Badescu that I've tried so far between my last haul and this current one, it's this and another item that I'm going to show you. Well, maybe three things. It's the, first of all, I didn't know it was going to be this size, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, it's the Mario Badescu Glycolic Foaming Cleanser. You cannot use this daily. This is not a daily cleanser for your skin. This is, and I'll, let me show you the ingredients here on the back while that focuses. This is a product that's supposed to be used one, depending on your skin type, and they tell you like which skin type should use it more often. But it's one to two times if you have like normal skin but if you have really acne prone skin even then they don't recommend that you use this daily they say two to three times a week so that's the full ingredient list hopefully you were able to see that um so basically i use this just a little bit on and i classified myself as normal to oily but not like acne prone so i put a little bit of this on my clear sonic and i felt as soon as i washed it off and my skin was drying and you know, I took a little towel to it. It felt like it was tightening. And I was like, oh no, this is gonna be one of those things that will like peel my skin and mess me all up. But um, no, it just like tightened, it dried. The next day though, my skin, and I didn't use anything else. I intentionally did not use a moisturizer. My skin was glowing. It was really, really nice. So um, I like this little one so far. So we'll see how that goes with continued use. As you can see, it's still like way up at the top and I've used it maybe three or four times uh, and it's still way at the top because I'm just using a small amount because it does lather rather well. So we'll see how it goes over time. The other thing I got, sorry, just checking the time, Mario Badescu is the facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. It's basically um, water as well as rose water and you can kind of see the little rosy kind of color to it. I'll turn it, it has aloe in here and some roots, here's the ingredient list. Um, so yeah, you just basically spray this on your face when you want a little dose of hydration. Um, they also say, which I thought was interesting in the instructions here, that you can use it to set your makeup. I thought that was interesting and because it's essentially rose water and aloe, they say put it on your hair. I did put it on my hair though, but I felt it felt a little sticky. So, and it wasn't because of the products that I already had on my hair. It was definitely from that. And then I, I washed my hair, it was coming close to wash day anyway, but I didn't, I, I won't be using that for my hair. I already know that. But um, for my face, it felt good, but I didn't see much difference from splashing that on my face as opposed to splashing like water 
in a spray bottle. But back in the day, I remember I used to use pure rose water on my face. I would get it from the health food store and just like spray it on. <laughs> I don't know. I think I thought it was doing something, but it was just, it was fine. Nothing special. Um, but yeah, so if you like to just dose yourself with a little extra something, there you go. Um, this is the Mara Badesco Skincare Acne Repair Kit. Now it comes with the buffering lotion, drying cream, and the drying lotion. And this gives you a little window into the products, but let me take them out and show you. This one right here is the drying lotion. You're not supposed to shake it, <laughs> as I just did, um, accidentally. Uh, just like the Kate Somerville, which I, I brought it here just to um, show ya. Just like the Kate Somerville Eradicate, you're not supposed to shake these products. In fact, on top of the Kate Somerville one, it says do not shake. And it has at the bottom of both of them, but I'll focus on the Mary Odesco one for a second. It has what looks like calamine lotion at the bottom. So that's what that is. And it, the product or the active ingredient in both of them, they contain sulfur. Um, for the Kate Somerville, it's 10%. And for Mario Badescu, I don't know if it says the percentage up here of um, sulfur in it, but they both have sulfur as the active ingredient. In fact, if you were to check the ingredient list for both of them, um, pretty similar. Uh, this one actually says that it has calamine in it and you may know or if you've ever had chicken pots you're recommended to use calamine lotion kind of on those spots to dry it up so you won't be itching as much and all that whole deal to kind of treat the chicken pox and this actually has calamine lotion in it. This is the Merida Badescu one but they both have sulfur, they both have camphor. The reason I know that is because camphor just kind of stands out in my mind when I see that ingredient because I remember years ago I had purchased something from what's her name? Carol's daughter and she had a skincare product and it said on the label uh, warning it includes camphor so not to be used by uh, women who are pregnant. And that just made me say, okay, so what's up with uh, camphor? And I, I did a, a post on that a while back. But yeah, so they both have it. And um, okay, so the whole thing is you're supposed to take a Q-tip, put it in here and put it on your, not on your whole face at all. And you're not supposed to use like one solution over the, you dip the Q-tip all the way to the bottom to the pink solution. That's what you're trying to pick up. Um, they actually instruct you just that way. Like, don't just put it in the clear solution at the top. Dip your Q-tip all the way down. And, of course, it's going to pass the clear solution when you bring your Q-tip out of the bottle. And then apply it on the uh, eruption only. Only on the pimple, the bump that you have. That's it. And it's supposed to, don't wash it off. Sleep in it overnight. Allow it to dry. Sleep in it. Now, the thing that I mentioned in a previous video with the Kate Somerville one is that I feel like it, I never have it all on my face the next morning. So that could just be me or maybe my skin is producing oils and it mixes and it flakes off. But it just, I know it's not staying on the whole night because when I wake up the next day, it's gone. And I said, maybe it's just the quality of the Kate Somerville one, which costs 22 bucks. And I said, let me test it against the Mary Badescu one to see which one works best. And, um... They both do the same thing. Neither of them will stay on my skin uh, overnight because when I wake up, they're both gone pretty much unless it's something that's on my forehead. So it's probably a product of me rubbing against the pillows or, or something like that. Um, so it never gets to stay on my skin for the entire evening. However, with both of them, to me, they're pretty much neck and neck with how they perform. Except the Mara Badescu one for one ounce costs 17 bucks. The Kate Somerville costs 22 bucks. This one, um, and as I said, they both have camphor in them. So if that's something you're trying to avoid, they both have them. Um, they both have um, sulfur as the active ingredient in them. So, and again, the ingredient list was pretty close uh, for these two um, products, except this one has calamine in it, which you may or may not like. But yeah, very similar. Uh, they did. I did see a reduction in some, not all, some of my bumps I saw a reduction in. Like I would put, and I don't know what the rhyme or reason is for why it works on certain bumps and others. Uh, others, the next day, it looked the same. And then with some others, it, I definitely saw a reduction the very next day um, by using actually both of these. So to me, they, they work the same way. Okay, so... Um, 
they're good. <laughs> if you have something that you're trying to shrink down in an emergency situation, I would suggest that you use either of them. I really cannot put one above the other. Uh, you may even want to try the cheaper one, which is the Mario Badescu, just for starters. And you just put it on that bump only and hopefully it'll help it to go down. The other two pieces of this little uh, acne kit that I haven't tried yet, the buffering lotion, um, which is supposed to also dry up bumps, and this, their drying cream. So I, it was just actually because I wanted to try this from Hot Look. And I was thinking of getting the, the buffering lotion just to try it out. Um... And it just worked out best to get the kit as opposed to buying them individually because I wouldn't I would not really say that I have um, acne but I get bumps on occasion so I just wanted something to treat that when they come up and sometimes it's based on the some of the products that I try and I I test things a lot so sometimes I get breaks out breakouts because of that so I'm trying to work on that as well uh, not testing so many things I need to be more consistent with a skincare uh, regimen because I do have certain things that I've found and I really like uh, so I need to just stop testing in, in those areas anywho the other thing from Mario Badescu that I got is the vitamin C serum and I did show this in a previous um, video it's basically in a what's new this week um, it's vitamin C. I'll show you the ingredient list in a second. It, it feels very much like an oil. You're only taking three to four drops and rubbing it into your skin. You're going to sleep and when you wake up the next day, I have this glowy kind of skin like that. Yeah, so um, yeah, that's it. Here's the ingredient list. Uh, propylene glycol is the first uh, ingredient. It has ascorbic acid, a cucumber extract, ginseng. Okay, I could show you <laughs> instead of uh, reading it to you. Aloe is in here. Right now, the other thing that I used to, and they recommend that you use this every other day, not every day. Here's the complete ingredient list. I can tell you, I used to use vitamin C powder, if you remember one of my old videos from Philosophy. Vitamin C powder, you mix it with whatever facial lotion that you use in the morning, moisturizer. And that, I really saw like such a nice difference in my skin, but I guess after I used a couple of bottles and then just was trying things out again and I just didn't uh, repurchase it or remember it to or whatever happened but uh, that vitamin C powder from Philosophy was actually really good and the um, vitamin C serum from Mario Badescu I like that one as well and through Hot Look I paid about I want to say it was either 32 or 36 bucks so that is a reduced price because it's typically 40 something I want to say I'll put the usual price right there and the vitamin C powder comes wrapped up all like this and bubble wrap so they do a really good job of that last thing that i want to show you as you probably already know revlon they have these new matte lip balms and the other one is called luster balms i think or something like that so it's been difficult for me to actually find them on the ground at least the colors that i want because i am trying to get the purple one which is shameless and i'm sure i can order it online but it's not that serious so I'd rather just wait until I see it in the store and pick it up so now I'm going to put on this one and the name of this one the what I'm just taking a, a wet cloth to take off this Riri Wu this particular lip balm I'm going to tell you right now I don't know I have eyes so I saw it in the store I, I looked at it and I kind of felt like this wasn't going to be my color yet and still I purchased it in part because I wanted to get a feeling for the consistency of the product. Sorry. Uh, I wanted to feel the product and how it would uh, feel on my lips since I didn't have, I, I don't know. I also just really wanted the purple one. So <laughs> I bought it. I already put this on Instagram yesterday. This is number 245 Audacious. And I said that this was um, a hot mess on the lips, but I didn't actually show it on my lips. So that's why I'm gonna do this now. And again, this is the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm. And let me show you the color. This definitely can be built up though. So let me show you, um, oh, oh, for those who like the hand swatches, there we go, right? already looks wrong but here we go uh wrong on my, on me but let me i'm just gonna look over here so i can see what i'm doing so let me do a light one <laughs> okay perhaps i could get away with it here 
like this level right but that was as you saw I only put it on the bottom lip and I'm rubbing it around let me just also say about this it's not your typical matte like we're like Riri Woo which I just took off which is a drawing true matte uh, lip product this looks like it's dry but it actually feels creamy like a balm but um because of its creaminess let me zoom in and i'm gonna put more on too and then i'll zoom out so you can see how it looks on my so here we go so that was the light coating that i put let me put some more <laughs> yeah So as you see, it can be built up, but let me say this. Do you see how it's kind of, maybe you can't tell so much, a little splotchy? Like, um, like because it's so creamy, because it's so creamy, it's not exactly giving me the type of product placement that I would like on my lips. It looks a little um, uneven in some areas and you may say it's just because of my application and maybe I'm just not explaining well what it's but see how there it looks sparse even though uh 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 I don't know it's just it's just a little bit on the weird side um it doesn't get but the feeling of it let me move out <laughs> okay it feels really <laughs> I'm sorry it feels really creamy it feels great. It feels like a lip balm, um, even though the appearance of it is that of a matte product. So this is audacious. Not for me, this color, but I think I'm going to wear it as a very light color and certainly mix it with other things. Maybe try it with a brown lip liner and see how that goes. Or maybe I'll post on Instagram like my trials to make a audacious work. So we'll see. Anyway, that's it for what's new this week. And uh, thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye guys.